Corruption in Cincinnati City Council is nothing new. These are just some of the faces of the former city council members facing punishment for federal crimes right now. But a ban on developers that passed city council today could start to turn things around. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Ottilie is live just outside City Hall with what this means for you at home. Madeline? Craig, the ban only applies to developers who currently have business before city council. This was proposed by council member and candidate Steve Gooden. He says the goal here is not only to crack down on corruption, it's also to build transparency. Cincinnati now has a reputation around the entire region as a pay to play uh, city hall. And that's something that we have to change. A proposal designed to cut corruption is moving forward after it was unanimously approved by city council. Yes. Sunderman. Yes. Elected officials will be barred from accepting or asking for donations from developers who have business before council. Any of those things for a large commercial development could be worth tens of millions of dollars. So uh, the idea that uh, council members or the mayor would be raising money from that individual while they're seeking that sort of assistance from us uh, is just wrong. Council member and candidate Steve Gooden put the proposal forward. He says it helps ensure development projects are selected on merit, not money. The ordinance comes after 2020 federal indictments of three city council members, Tamaya Dinar, Jeff Pastor, and PG Sittenfeld. You know, all three of the corruption arrests all dealt with the economic development process in one way or another. Individuals who were seeking incentives or approvals uh, so it goes right to the heart of it. Denard pleaded guilty and is serving an 18 month sentence. Pastor and Sittenfeld are awaiting trials set for next year. These are corruption issues that could be on the minds of Cincinnati voters heading to the polls next week. I do want to express a little bit of my disappointment. I think this can go a lot further. Um, I wish we would have taken the time to go a lot further. I was a little concerned when um, I constantly heard that we wanted to get something um, taken care of and done now right before Election Day. Gooden says there is more more to do, but council needs to be careful to prevent violating laws protecting campaign donations. The state of the constitutional law has forced us to proceed uh, with some caution. It is a substantive reform. It is the first reform of its kind that we have seen here in generations. Uh, and I do think it serves a framework. I do think it can be built upon, uh, but this isn't um, uh, just something that we rushed through. This is one of the first measures that's been passed aimed at addressing that fallout from those 2020 federal indictments. Previous measures put forward written toward that goal have failed. Reporting live outside City Hall, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.